Alright, I am Nifty Thrifty Girl, and I'm going to showcase a Kenmore Convertible Model 1940. This is an all-metal machine with a 1-amp motor, mid made, I'm assuming mid-70s, but I will confirm that date before listing. It's in very, very good cosmetic condition, and convertible, of course, means that you can use the machine as either a flatbed, as you see it here, or a free arm. The bed extension slides off and exposes your free arm, which is good for pants legs, shirt sleeves, smaller clothes like baby clothes, or if you're making a doggy jacket or something like that. And also, here's your bobbin access right in the arm. Class 15 bobbin. Feed dog drop right here. That's your feed dog drop lever. And if you don't want to take off the free arm and just access your bobbin area or your feed dogs, this little panel comes off. Very cool. Now this does have a button holder available that has the button holder adapter in this piece. I don't have that button holder to include, but if you want to look for a button holder for this model, if you're going to purchase it, look for the button holder that has the metal adapter with the gear in this panel, and that fits right on in place of this panel, and then your button holder attaches. Okay? They do exist. You just have to find them on eBay. Um, it has 12, let me see, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, yes, 12 built-in stitches, including reverse or stretch stitches. And this is your stitch selector here in the center. And this is your regular or stretch selector here. This is your stitch length, your reverse lever, and, of course, your bobbin winder on the top. Spool pins here, and it is double needle capable. Every pattern can be sewn with a double needle. The low shank machine uses standard class 15 bobbins, standard 15 by 1 needles, and it comes with a box of low shank feet and attachments, low shank goodies. Um, I will have a photo of those individually in the listing. One amp, all metal. Very, very nice machine. Runs smooth. And if you've ever sewn, you know that you do always come up on a time where you need a free arm. And this machine's very nice because it can be used either way. And of course, it has the classic Kenmore versatility. Lots of room under the presser foot. It has a high presser foot lift. I'll show you that in just a minute. Switch over to a stretch here so you can see the stretch work. I'm doing a rip rack right now. Zigzag. It also has twine, multi point zigzag, um, quite a few different stitches. As I said, there's 12 in all. A PDF copy of the manual for a 1941 will be included, which is a nearly identical machine, and it will still explain all of the threading, the care and maintenance, and the use. The only thing that differs on the two machines is the layout of the front, just a little bit. All right. Go back to regular, and as I said, this is all metal gears. Now we're going to start with some eyelet fabric. So you can see that it works nicely on a delicate. It's a cotton eyelet. Of course, my dogs don't like something out there. Does very nice on the eyelet. It's a very wide zigzag, probably seven millimeters or so. Nice on that. Now we'll switch over to six layers of Levi's. I'm using a size 16 needle. Here's where the lift comes in handy. You can just lift up that high foot and flip that right around. And my husband literally brought this machine back from the dead. It was locked up, would not move at all when we found this machine. And five days of like soaking in oil, 
finally got it broke loose. But she was pretty much dead in the water. So that just shows you that a Kenmore is virtually indestructible. All metal, or any all metal machine is virtually indestructible and can be brought back to life if, in fact, you find one that's all locked up. You just need to know how to do it. Perfect stitch on the denim. A couple layers of um, garment leather. Of course, these machines aren't meant to do leather day in and day out. They're non-industrial. You will burn up the motor, but if you have some simple projects, car upholstery, hem your leather pants, or sew on some patches, machine can handle that. Look at that perfect stitch. That is the Kenmore model 1940 convertible all metal one amp sewing machine.